we are one of the few animals that do not manufacture our own vitamin C. Us uh, monkeys and guinea pigs. And, vi yeah. and vitamin C is actually essential to repair cracks in collagen that occur as our blood vessels flex. flex. And normally we should have a continuous supply of vitamin C. Uh, one of the theories of why humans get heart disease is we do not manufacture vitamin C. But vitamin C is actually a longevity vitamin. Very interesting studies uh, using mice. We have, there are five genes that take glucose and turn it into vitamin C. We have all five of those genes in us, but the fifth gene is called a ghost gene. It's not active. So they've taken mice and bred them to have a ghost gene as that fifth gene. And so they can't produce vitamin C, which they normally would. And if you compare them to normal mice, they will only live half as long as the mice that contain all five vitamin C genes. Here's the fun fact. If you put vitamin C in their water and they drink water throughout the day, then the mutant mice will regain the same lifespan as the mice that manufacture vitamin C uh, because they've been drinking vitamin C all day long. So vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin and we excrete most vitamin C and it's pretty much gone from our system in two to four hours. So you have two options. Either you take timed release vitamin C a couple times a day, or you get yourself some vitamin C tablets, chewable tablets, and you chew a 500 milligram one, oh, four times a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before you go to bed. And that's actually, the evidence is very interesting that that's one of our uh, design flaws. Now it wasn't a flaw because we used to be exposed to vitamin C containing plants continuously. And interestingly enough, making vitamin C is expensive. And if we're exposed to something, it's silly to waste energy on making something you're always getting. But right. yeah, vitamin C is, is really important.